Hey Leo, Mariah here. I'm gonna go ahead and get into your reading. So let's see what's going on. Also too, I have a Patreon now. So if you wanna join for more Leo videos and content, the link is in the description box below. So let's get into it. King of, oh, sorry, <laughs> Knight of Wands in the reverse. Tell me more what my Leos need to know, Spirit. Two of Wands in reverse, Ace of Air in the reverse. <clears throat> Page of Fire, Seven of Cups, two more, okay, we got three, Temperance, Rebirth and the Reverse and the Seven of Swords, Page of Cups and the Reverse, okay, I get you, Spirit. Um. Somebody here may be a herbalist or is really into herbalism or just like a plant lover, loves plants, maybe has a lot of plants, likes to, plants bring comfort. Somebody likes being around plants. Um, I'm getting a aloe and eucalyptus. I, that's, I think that's what it's called specifically. Um, I'm also picking up the letter H, so like H is in Henry, Heather. Um, something specific about the month of May as well for somebody here okay um leo you know i don't like going left you know i don't like going left you know i don't like doing this shit i promise you i don't like doing this shit excuse my language but i don't even though it's what i have to do but i just got to share a message because i'm just now i'm just channeling um for a specific leo here i just keep hearing it's not fair, why me? Why me? You're ready. And that's, that's the thing about this, though. And that's why I'm getting frustrated for you, Leo. Like, in my energy, I'm starting to feel the frustration you're feeling. Because you're ready. It's like, what else do I have to do to be ready for this? What else do I have to do to prepare for this? I've worked on myself. I have took the time away. And I took the time to heal myself, evolve myself spiritually. I took the time to heal my heart, work on my mental, work on my psyche, work on my emotional. I've tried and I've done it. I'm ready for this, you're, there's something that you're manifesting or some form of abundance that you're wanting, whether it's in love, whether it's in your career finances, something that you're, something that you have your eye set on, you have your line of vision set on something. And it's like, you're ready. Like, you know, that you needed to work on yourself or handle your internal to accept it, you know, in the 3d and accept it in the external and you've done that, but it's not happening. And there's frustration here because you see other people getting what it is that you want or receiving what it is that you want, but you're not getting it. And you're just, what am I doing wrong? I'm trying here. And I'm just getting years. For some of you, it may have been like years. Like you've been work. It's been years since you've been working on yourself or putting the time into yourself. Or it's been quite a long time of manifesting something and feeling ready, right? Just feeling in the energy of being ready. But everything you do or you try to put yourself towards to obtain or achieve, it's just like it's just not happening. Why is it not happening? And that's just what I feel. And the thing about this is, though, see, spirit, just spirit can bring you in what it is that you want. Sure, spirit can bring you in what you want, right? You want what everybody else has, sure. We'll bring you in, you know, that job or that lover or that thing, whatever it is that you have your line of sight on. I don't know what it is specifically, what, but I see a line of sight. I'm literally seeing a visual cable here. So you have a line of sight on something. I can bring that into you and bring that into your life. But guess what? Sure, you can have it, but can you sustain it? Can you maintain it? Can you be able to enjoy it fruitfully, right? If you're not ready, well, spirit, I am ready, right? This is what I'm hearing. Spirit, I am ready. What are you talking about? I, I, I can, I can. Understood, right? Okay, cool. Well, we'll bring that into you. We'll give you that. The universe will drop it in your lap. But guess what? Because you're wanting it on your time and there's a lack of patience here. You can get it, 
but it's not going to bring you the full fruitfulness or the abundance that you're looking for. Meaning as an example, just what I'm feeling. Yeah, say if you wanted to write a, and publish a book, right? You want to be a New York's best time seller. Yeah, we can make you a best time seller. Sure, you, you, you reach that goal one time. Or if you can be patient, we can make that book and the next 10 books a best time seller. What do you want? You know, and then that season of patience and then that season of feeling like I'm ready, but nothing's happening. So there's frustration here in that season. What's truthfully happening is Leo is that the thing that you're trying to pull in towards you or trying to call in towards you're trying to manifest. It's going to be a blessing beyond your belief because you had to pay for it. When we get things that we can receive immediately or, we're re or we see other people receiving things faster than us, sure, it's great, but it's not going to be to the greatness of what you will get. Why is that? Because you had to pay for it. How so, Leo? You had to pay for it in tears, anxiety, depression, anguish, upset, uncertainty, worry, sleepless nights, tireless effort, day in and day out, constant concern, constantly feeling uncomfortable. When is this going to happen? I'm ready. All of those days, hours, minutes, seconds, weeks, months, and specifically for somebody I'm hearing years of having to feel like, why is this not happening to me? It pays off for you in a larger return than most people because you had to pay a larger price than most people. And yes, it does feel unfair. And I'm sorry to say, Leo, sometimes life is unfair. And that's one of those things where it's like, it sucks. But the thing about it is, it's, 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 a, it's, it's beautifully unfair, the best way to put it. Because yes, in the moment of going through it, it just sucks. But in hindsight, when you look back, it's one of those blessings once you receive it in its full bloom, it's like, man, I wouldn't want to relive those days, months, years of having to feel like, when is this going to happen for me? But if I was to know in hindsight that this would be the outcome, and if I had to relive those times again to receive this outcome, I might do it kicking, cussing, crying, and screaming. But to have this type of fruitfulness from what I've been manifesting, which is beyond what I could have asked for, I would do it again. That's what I'm feeling here, Leo, for, for you specifically. Specifically. And it, it is very frustrating. And I'm just getting some, picking up the energy of somebody going through a frustrating season in their life. You know, why is it not coming to bloom? Why is it not happening yet? And the thing about it is, see, our line of sight, if we're you know, looking at the ocean, we can only see as far as the ocean. Right, We can only see as far as the eye will allow us to. But spirit can see 50 miles out. 50, spirit can see the entire body of water, which we can't see. We can only see what's in our line of sight. So when we see what's in our line of sight and we can see visually, this is what I've been manifesting. This is what I want. I see other people receiving what I've been trying to manifest. I see these people who haven't gone through as much struggle or strife or as much headache and heartache and pain to get there, receiving it easily, but I literally see my manifestation right there on the horizon and it's, I can't even grab it. The thing about it is you only see a portion. Spirit sees it all. And there's more as far as evolution and growing that you have to do, unfortunately, but it's fortunate because again, you have to be able to sustain this. Sustainability is the key that I'm getting here. I keep hearing it ring. You have to be able to sustain this. So if spirit was to give you that full on body of water now, how do you manage it, right? We feel like we're ready, right? But that's our impatience. Until it shows up on our doorstep, then life is really going to test us how ready we are, how ready and how, how prepared we are. Spirit sees your next 10 steps before you see your first. And that's the, this message that I just have to get out. And like I'm just channeling directly through the cards. Just directly through the cards. This is for somebody. I don't know who's for though. And it, it just it, it just feels like why me? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. See, but this goes back to that hindsight because again, there's a few more steps of enlightenment here. A few more a few more paradigm shifts that you have to go through. And then when you look back, 
you can say, wow, if I would have received it in that moment when I felt so prepared and when I felt so ready, then there was a potential that I could have mishandled it or mis, um, you know, mis misused it or maybe not really stood up in that in that energy like I needed to because there was this key component over here that I was missing or that I didn't really think of or that I didn't really look at or that I didn't really prepare within myself that if spirit would have got gave it to me in my season of impatience, I could have definitely fumbled or had a one time shot opportunity at that and not been able to keep it or sustain it. Leo, I just got to ask you just from what I'm feeling here. Have you, and I know you feel ready, the one like Leo I'm talking to, you feel ready for, you, you are, you've been ready, you've been ready since last month, last year, two years ago, I don't know how long you've been ready for this. But I would have to ask you, Leo, have you looked at all the angles within yourself, right? Are you financially ready? Are you fully spiritually ready? Are you fully healed? Are you really connected? Are you psychologically ready? Right? And even if you say yes to all those things, guess what? There's still that period of spirit needing to make sure, if you will, that what it is that you're asking for is ready for you. And that's the paradigm here. What you're asking for, is it ready for you? And that's in true, true testament. That's in true honesty. If I'm being so honest through spirit. Are you, is that thing ready for you? See, we look from our scope and our perspective, and I just have to, I, I just have to, sorry, I'm just going left a little bit. We look from our scope and we look from our perspective of how we feel, what we want, how we see things, what we think we're ready for, but is that something ready for you? Is that season, is that opportunity, is that manifestation ready to come into your life? As much as you may be ready, is it ready to come into your life? Is it the opportune time? And remember, divine timing, as much as we tend to hate, I, I'll say it personally, as much as I hate the word divine timing, I can't stand it. As spiritual as they come, I just can't stand it. But even in divine timing, it holds true testament to the energy I'm feeling because what it is that you're asking for, as ready as you may be, that thing has to be prepped. And that's why when you do receive it, you get a larger payoff because while you had to prep and while that situation opportunity had to prepare itself for you, you had to pay in tears, depression, anxiety, angst, anger, frustration, disappointment, the feeling of lack, the feeling of frust frustration again, you know, but feeling all that. That's why your reward and payout is much greater than most when it comes to this. That's why you'll have much more abundance in this area than most when it comes to this because you had to wait much longer than most. And it's not in vain, even if it feels like it, Leo. I promise you it's not in vain. It's not. So it's there. And I, like I said, I can visually, I'm looking at my wall, but I can visually see a red, thin string tied on your finger your finger and tied to whatever it is that you're manifesting it's like like a little gray fog because i don't i don't know exactly what you're manifesting but i see this red string visually in my mind you're already connected to what's meant for you and what's meant for you will never evade you what's meant for you will never pass you by and if this is what you've been manifesting spirit's not going to let your manifestations go unheard but yes there has to be alignments made so that way it comes in in an abundant way in a way that can be sustained, a way that it can be kept, in a way that it can be nurtured and grown, that can produce fruit on top of fruit on top of fruit, right? Which is abundance, rewards, blessings on top of blessings, having that amazing experience that is beyond what you could have imagined. But fortunately and unfortunately, it does come at a cost. And again, and I'll say this the last time, that cost that it comes in because what you're asking for is much greater and what spirit is bringing in to you is going to be much greater than the people around you or the people that you know of. It comes at the price of fear, anger, depression, anxiety, frustration, stress, disappointment. It does. So Leo, I send my love to you. It's not a sad reading. 
I hope it gives you a bit of understanding and clarity on what's happening to you specifically right now. I feel like I'm having a heart to heart with somebody. Leo, I love you. It's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. It's always, always my pleasure to read for you. And I thank you so much for allowing me to channel, which you know I hate doing. I, I just don't like it because I like to stay on the cards. But I just had to get this off for you, Leo. I love you.